Hello, welcome back to another grocery haul. This is Publix, and then I also have Aldi. Uh, my Publix came first, so I wasn't, I was actually planning on filming the opposite way, but yeah. Um, Aldi didn't have everything, and so I needed to shop somewhere else that did have the extra things that we wanted and some snacks and stuff, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, I got some kale. You cannot get this, like, bunch kale at Aldi. You can only get the bag kale, and usually the bag kale has lots of stems. <laughs> so, and then some broccolini. I think I'm going to make this for dinner tonight. Just saute it up with some onions and maybe some salt and pepper and butter. Uh, these Nature Valley wafers, you guys, I love these things, and I found the peanut butter flavor. So this is just regular peanut butter flavor. It's like peanut butter on the top with some peanut peanuts, sorry. And then this pretzel peanut butter one sounded really, really good. Uh, so I picked that up. Uh, speaking of healthy, I got this candy pop popcorn for my son. He really wanted that. It's the Twix one. And then these are actually pretty healthy. Uh, you know, you gotta balance it out. The hippies. And then bear fruit rolls. Uh, these are like apple, pear, and strawberry. And then some of these Wildberry Acai Nature's Path Organic Toaster Pastries. Yes, that's the name of those. Anyway, <laughs> they're like alternative to Pop-Tarts. Anyway, speaking of healthy, uh, Lotus Biscoff Cookies. You guys, I absolutely love Biscoff. My grandmother uh, was British and she loved these with her tea. And I haven't had them in a really long time, so super good uh four cans of the classic cola poppy two of these bubbly burst lemonade cherry they're really good anyway sorry uh, i don't know what that was about um you guys i found the clearly canadian okay so i have not had this in a really really long time i remember this from like the the late 80s and early 90s um I guess it was discontinued at one point or something like that. I don't know. My mom used to buy it when we were kids and she never really would share a whole lot with us, but I do remember it being pretty good. Um, so I picked it up because I wanted it. Uh, this alouette, is that how you say it? Alouette? Garlic and herb cheese um, spread. I like this. I usually buy the, um, the Borson cheese um, and I use it for like a creamy pasta sauce. Uh, but the Borson cheese is really small, and this is, like, double the size. So, yeah, perfect. Uh, my son actually had asked if we were going to have cinnamon rolls this weekend, so I picked up a can of the Annie's Organic Cinnamon Rolls. They're the best. They're a little expensive, but they're the best. Um, and I ordered International, what is it? International Delight Hazelnut Creamer. I guess they were out of it. Uh, so they substituted with the Coffee Mate. Um, I'm really kind of picky about creamer, so I guess my husband's going to drink that. I don't know. It's fine. Um, from some fish sticks. I don't know what I was about to say. Fish sticks for my son. I got this mac and cheese Marie Callender's Callender's uh, mac and cheese bowl just for work lunch. These Nasoya Thai basil vegetable dumplings. We love these. We have these like once a week. I usually make some rice and some like peas. Um, I have a lot of like, I, I'm growing some snap peas in my garden. They're super, super good. So I've been doing those with some rice and these dumplings like the last couple times I made them. So good. Um, and then it's been a while since I had any San Pellegrino. Um, I used to actually drink this a lot, like all the time. Um, yeah. And I wanted to try the lemon flavor. And then this Tropical Paradise Suave. I just needed some deodorant. This one was on sale. I don't typically buy the Suave brand. I usually buy Dove. Um, but it was on sale and it. I don't know. It just sounded like it smelled good. I haven't actually smelled it, so I have no idea. But that's it for, uh, yeah, that's it for Publix. That's where I went, or where I ordered from. <laughs> anyway, that's it for Publix. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we got from Aldi. Okay, we're back with Aldi. Um, so this is everything that I actually, like, not everything that we needed, per se. Some of these things we didn't actually need. Um, but yeah. Most of the stuff we did actually need, mostly fruits and vegetables, um, and a few odds and ends of things. There is, like, a substitute in here that I'm not happy with, but it's my fault for not looking. Okay, uh, strawberries. These look pretty good. Uh, we eat strawberries all the time. I needed some more mushrooms. We actually haven't had mushrooms in a while, so I got some broccoli. Yes, I got broccolini in the last uh, from Publix, but 
broccoli and broccolini are different. This is actually for my son. And then the Caesar chopped salad. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of lettuce in there. Uh, cantaloupe. I bought a cantaloupe the last time from Publix and it was really good. So I'm hoping this one is good. Uh, this is actually a substitute. I ordered just a bag of regular ones. They gave me the mini ones. So that's fine. They're pretty hard, but it's perfectly fine. Um, some asparagus. We love asparagus. And then green beans. I love roasting green beans in the oven, which is some olive oil or av avocado oil and salt and pepper. Mozzarella cheese. We're going to make like homemade non bread pizzas and some roasted red pepper hummus. And then my husband actually requested the craft singles. I think my son's actually been eating a lot of um, grilled cheese lately. So I think that's what that's for. And then some of this organic uh, Peruvian whole bean coffee. And then this Moser Roth Moser. I don't know how to say it. Mint dark chocolate. Um, I really like this. I haven't had it in a while. These Benton's breakfast, I don't know what these are, bre breakfast biscuits, the cranberry orange ones are pretty good. They're very similar to the store brand, whatever that brand is. I got some pepper and salt. Um, anyway, they're pretty good. And then some coffee filters. We needed some more bread, so I like this honey wheat bread. And then I got some soy milk. I actually have two things of, or no, I have one thing of almond milk in the refrigerator, and I just kind of wanted to switch it up and get some uh, soy milk this time the salmon this is frozen salmon and then I got some chicken bites back here for my son so both of those are for my son they're kind of quick and easy to cook up and then this cheese ravioli I figure we can just do ravioli one night super quick and easy this was a this was a need you guys I needed this <laughs> the triple chocolate cream cake it just sounded really good and then we're actually gonna have tacos for dinner tonight um, and I wanted to try out this plant-based taco filling. I've never seen this before at my Aldi, so I don't know if it's good. Um, but I guess you just heat this up in a, or you boil it for five minutes in a pan? I don't know. Anyway, I actually thought it was frozen when I was buying it. Um, and then this too, the Southwest Burrito Bowl. I think this has like rice in it. Um, here's the ingredients. But yeah, we're going to try those out and see if they're any good. And then these white cheddar puffs. Um, I just kind of wanted something different to snack on. And then this, you guys. I usually buy um, a frozen pizza. I usually buy just plain cheese because my son and I both just eat plain cheese. My husband actually has been eating a lot more meat lately. Um, but this is going to be my husband's pizza because my son doesn't like pepperoni. So they substituted it and I didn't notice. And so I guess it's my fault. <laughs> anyway guys that is everything that we got from the um aldi today i hope you guys stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye y'all